people that go see your show, they you know, I'm sure many of them are longtime Elvis fans and they're very aware of the 68 special. Is there something about your show that they um, you know, it's not like just popping in the DVD. It's it's a whole different thing. Well, exactly. Like you, the the music is you know, a taken from the recordings and and we put uh, we put as much effort as I do in personifying Elvis as the musicians do to recreating the music. You can only be as good or as great as what is behind you. And the musicians we put together and assembled for this uh, for the show add that that certain it adds that. So when you're listening to them perform, you will be hearing everything that you remember from the DVDs and and and, and the CDs. And we're we're doing the whole thing, uh, the the, the stand up, of course, the black leather, uh, then the 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 very very first unplugged session of Elvis Presley, you know, sitting down, a uh, group of guys jamming out some fantastic songs from from the fifties. We are doing one hundred percent of uh, of of that show. So it's we're we're attempting to lift from the television screen and present it on stage. Perfect. And I would imagine there's always that slight element of surprise, you know, a screaming fan or somebody wants to give you a flower or, I mean, you run into all that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we totally do. And of course, we encourage it. You know, it's this is live. It's live theater. So when that when that happens, then you know that your audience is right there along with you and prepared to take that journey because that's what it's all about it's all about for the for the couple hours that you're there within the theater it's just to suspend disbelief and and run with it and when they do that that's when magic moments happen oh that's great could you share anything about sort of what it takes for you to between the to go from 68 to 73 it, that's it, it's quite a difference. Well, first thing it's the it's the the hair and sideburns. <laughs> that's the that's the obvious thing. Uh, Elvis had this uh, incredible uh, mane of of hair with uh, these spectacular sideburns in the in the Aloha from Hawaii uh, television uh, um, special, and uh, and then in the in of course in the in the sixty eight uh, it was a, a lot more. Uh, a little streamlined. His hair was uh, stacked a little bit higher, with the bangs falling forward, and and the sideburns not so uh, not so large. You know, just a little shorter, a little bit. I would say a little shorter than what I have now. And the uh, so for appearance, uh, that's you know first things are first. Now again, going back to the difference between the two eras. And when I say eras, I also kind of say, because I am an actor, characters of, of, of that man. In the 68 comeback, he, again, he came out with this, uh, raw energy and he was really, really, really nervous in it that he, all he wanted to do was succeed. And it was the first time that he was in front of a live audience. Uh, since, um, it was eight years. The last time, I believe it was 1960 when he came back from the army. And so eight years goes by and he's performing in for all the movie stuff. So he never performed in front of a live audience. So now he's in front of this live audience and, and, uh, raw energy, nervous angst. And, uh, and that's where he, if you listen to him, that's where he got that growl from. By 1973, Aloha from Hawaii, Elvis was performing in Las Vegas since 1969, beginning of July 1969. And then he was just hitting the road concert after concert after concert. So by 1973, he was the finest oiled machine uh, that stepped onto a concert stage. And it was his. And you can see the difference and the confidence in from Elvis in 1968 to 1973, because by Aloha from Hawaii, he said, just watch and let me perform. And, and the way he smirks, the way he's looking 
at the audience, the way he's looking at the band, paying particular attention at the end of every song with those huge crescendo notes. He wasn't afraid of them. He welcomed them. He was smiling, and you could see that joy, especially in American Trilogy. My goodness, like he just nails it. But he just smiled and said, I'm Elvis. You know, uh, here I am. And that's, I think that's the biggest difference. In 68, he was saying, I am Elvis. I have more to prove. 73, he said, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. <laughs> 